Oh, we got a coyote here, and that is him, the Were Coyote 9 Legendary. Uh, and he is about 40 meters away and stopping. I think we should probably go for our shot there. So today, we're going to work on some of the missions here in the Hunter Call of the Wild. I realized I've pretty much done everything there is to do in the game. I've got every piece of equipment unlocked. Uh, I've obviously got 20 diamonds now, and I just realized I have none of the missions done. On all the maps, I've still got missions left to do. Uh, and if you didn't know it, a lot of the missions actually end with a diamond animal. It doesn't count towards your stats. You don't actually, like, get the statistic of killing a diamond, but it's still cool to get those animals. Uh, so the first one we have is to harvest a moose down within 45 meters with a 270 caliber rifle. Uh, and we're up here in Mount Crack, and we should be able to do that rather easily. But I don't know where I'm at in the missions. We might be able to get a diamond mission animal today. I actually have no idea. We'll definitely try, but let's go knock some of these out. And I think this cow will do just fine. She's actually stopping there about 25 away. Uh, so she will actually stop. Let's go for a heart shot. Looks like we got it. And what did we do? She dropped immediately. What? That doesn't usually happen. Maybe it was the range, but usually a straight heart shot. They actually get about 98% quick kill. They usually run off, but that is the first mission complete. And what do we have? Uh, for the next one, we have to travel to Chiopika to do something, so we'll do that. And apparently we have to harvest a moose weighing at least 520 kilograms, so that's pretty much a level 4. Uh, but I bet we can find one up here. It's pretty much packed with moose all the time. We've got a level 4 coming in. I think a level 4 has to be over 520 kilograms, and I should actually make sure, because we are very near the border, uh, here in Chiopika. Does this actually count? Yeah, it definitely will. We are inside, and luckily he's actually east of us, so that works in our favor. So if he will uh, just stop again, we'll go for a heart shot with the 454. And he is down, so that should be the second mission done here. And I was looking, it is uh, number seven in this series. I don't think they have like a ton of them like in the individual series, so we might actually have one of the diamond ones coming up here. I don't know. There might not even be a diamond one in this series, but it's definitely worth trying to stick to this one. And that is that mission done. Not a bad moose either. 168 trophy rating and 843 gold. So what do we got next? Uh, let's accept that. Harvest some moose down from a ground blind at night. I think that can be anywhere. Uh, let's just check the mission log to make sure it's not in Chopika. Where are we at? Uh, yeah, that can be anywhere. So let's just find a spot uh, to do that. Probably Willapeg will be fine. And we'll just grab a ground blind. Oh, wait. We have to be here to do it. Well, that's going to make it a little more difficult. So we are approaching the ground blind, and there's actually a male moose walking right behind. I don't know if that's going to work out, but if not, there's a female hanging back there drinking. So we'll see what we can work out. It'd be nice to be able to get the male uh, nice and close. I did grab the 338 because I don't want to mess around, uh, and I was kind of thinking we might need to take a long shot. It doesn't look like that's really going to be the case, but hopefully we can actually get that male because... He should be good and close. So we are in the blind. This guy knows we're here. We should probably shoot him rather soon. Let's just go for it. That should work for that mission. I didn't even know he was there. Uh, I saw a female that was actually... It left the drinking zone where we saw it at. And it was somewhere way over in there starting to leave. But luckily he stuck around. And we managed to get him from the blind. So that should be our third one done. Let's make sure that actually counted. And it did. That is number eight from that pack completed. A nice spine shot there from the 338. And what do we got next? Hopefully not another night mission. Harvest two female moose downed with a scoped 44 mag revolver. So let's go make it daytime again and do that. But I must say, I actually really like playing the game this way. This was kind of my focus early on when I started. Like maybe my first, I don't know, 10 videos or more were mostly missions and progression. Uh, and I didn't realize, like, I miss playing it that way, because I've just got into looking for rares and diamonds all the time, but this is actually really cool. But anyway, much like the 270, the 44 generally does not get 100% uh, quick kill on the moose, although we actually did get 100% with a straight heart shot uh, earlier with the 270, and we do have a cow here, uh, so I think we'll go for spine. The 44 actually does have more penetration than the 270, so the angle like that wasn't bad, and she is down right over there. So that should be one out of two. Uh, these missions obviously are focused on the moose, if you haven't noticed. Uh, I don't know how, I think that's just Beatty or Beatty. I don't know how you pronounce the guy's last name, but those missions are pretty much all moose, I think, which is kind of nice because moose are pretty easy to find, so that's uh, reasonably decent for doing a video like this where I'm trying to grind through missions. But let me know what you guys think of this uh, if you want to see more of these mission videos, because I actually really enjoy this, uh, doing like objectives all the time. 
So that should be one out of two, and it is, so we need one more. But as long as I don't mess up the shot here, this will actually be the easiest of the missions we've done so far. This one, I've maybe gone like 50 meters. We must have been just out of hearing range for her. I'd much rather shoot that one back there, but we do need a cow for this mission, so hopefully the next one needs a bull and we can just follow that uh, wherever it goes. Let's go for a heart shot here. That should be good. We might have clipped along as well because she is dropping. I actually saw as we were coming over here, I don't know if we'll get to see him running away. Uh, unfortunately, he must be back in the brush. My first level one male moose. I've never seen that in this game. I knew they existed, uh, but I just never got to find one, so I might go shoot that as well. Uh, but that is the ninth one done, so what do we got next here? Uh, oh, this might be interesting. What what do we got going on here? That looked like, that looked like it could be a thing. Uh, travel to Willapeg Caves, harvest a moose down within 30 meters with a bow. Uh, it says the big five, so my first thought was maybe it would be a level five moose, but I don't think it is. Where the heck is Willapeg Caves? Oh, it's down there. Uh, that's right by the lodge, and as long as we're somewhere in that area, there's actually a moose resting zone there. There's actually two, three moose resting zones in there, so one of those I bet will have a moose at it. And I don't think the crossbow is actually classed as a bow. I'm pretty sure it has its own class, so we do need to grab a vertical bow for this. Alright, I hear something, and if it's the moose I'm tracking, it should be a good four. I would say that's the one. Uh, and he's definitely within 30 there. I kind of need him to notice me and stop. Because, obviously, I don't really want to take a shot on a walking moose. Uh, although he really, hopefully, won't notice us in there. Come on, notice me. Stop. Stop. Are you serious? Stop moving. Thank you. Weird angle. That'll work. Slid down a little bit, but that should be a pretty solid gold as long as our consec didn't fall off. Uh, and it didn't. 193 trophy rating, 895 gold just for a mission. I will take that. Uh, and what do we have next? That actually completed that uh, that tree, so I guess we got to move on to another one. Wait, when did I unlock this one? The Were Coyote. Travel to Chila and harvest the large coyote. That's actually a story mission, uh, but that does seem like a diamond mission to me. I don't know when I unlocked this, but... Apparently that's a thing, so let's head over there. Does it actually give me an area where to look? Uh, yeah, it does. Right over here by this lodge, right where I have all, all kinds of hunting pressure from hunting by that lake. Uh, but hopefully he will be up there. I guess there's only one way to find out. We'll grab the 243 and see if we can get him. I will say, though, I expect it to be like the Mr. Black missions, where uh, if we spot him, it should actually say where coyote. So... We're not going to have just a random level 9, we should actually find the 1, and my guess uh, from doing these kind of missions before is that he's going to be roughly in the middle uh, of that little area, which luckily isn't really in hunting pressure, so we should be able to call him in. Uh, so, in theory, right now he's only about 150 meters away, so I'm going to see if I can find a spot that actually hides us, because so many of these yellow trees up here in Chila don't actually give you camouflage. So if I can find a spot where I'm completely hidden, I'm going to try calling and seeing if we can just get him to come in uh, without actually trying to pick up his tracks. The only thing that might work is this little green tree here uh, that's kind of in the field, but I think if I'm crouched right up against it, I should get cover. Uh, and we're getting somewhat close to where I expect him to be. Obviously, he's moving right now. He's not going to be just stationary there. But I bet he is somewhere right up in that general area, uh, roughly in the center of that little... Uh, kind of zone it gives us. So does this tree actually completely hide us? Because if it does, I think we're going to stay here. It does if we're right here. So let's try it. Why not uh, just give a few calls and see if he comes in. Oh, something just moved behind the brush there. That is a coyote and it is the were coyote. Level 9 legendary and it definitely is the one that we're after. So Hopefully he'll come in nice and close. We are completely hidden here. The wind is great, uh, and we've got the 243. I'm going to go ahead and zero for 75 meters now so I don't forget. And let's see if we can actually get him out here into the field. I'm starting to think he's not going to come in. I just noticed uh, I am actually slightly visible here. That happens in this game. You kind of I don't know if you slide a little bit uh, or what, but after a while, often you end up kind of out of your cover. So I'm guessing he might have come somewhat close and then noticed us and either ran off or at least try to the other direction. So I think we might have to do a little bit of tracking here. So it looks like he pretty much just got into our wind and took off, but we should get an opportunity to look at the weight here and it is 25 to 27. Let's look at the map, uh, 25.90 to be exact. I think that should be a 950s diamond. My 955 
was like 25.93, uh, and they are pretty much scored by their weight. I think there's a tiny bit of randomness uh, in that trophy rating. Now, the thing that we got to do pretty much uh, is just get to a spot where we can kind of see far, because right now he's just going straight downwind, and maybe that track is him turning, and if that's the case, uh, we are going to be a lot better off. Hopefully he did uh, turn and go somewhere over there, because that would make life a lot easier. Is this actually a just now track? It is. We've got a footprint here, but that's going this way, so I think he did continue going downwind. I think if we can manage to get him to spook the direction he's headed now, we might be uh, somewhat okay to actually call him in a little more close range, because there's not many areas around here uh, where you can actually see somewhat far. My strategy right now is to actually spook him uh, and hopefully get him in a better position, and this might have just worked. Uh, if he went that way, we should be somewhat okay. And I can kind of see far. I wonder if there's a place where I can be completely hidden around here. That tree right there will probably work. The question is, is he actually in calling range right now? Because if not, it's really not going to matter, but hopefully he is. And this tree does hide us, so I really hope uh, he actually ends up coming in. Oh, we got a coyote here, and that is him, the Were Coyote 9 Legendary. Uh, and he is about 40 meters away and stopping. I think we should probably go for our shot there. Perfectly broadside, so... And just like that, he is down. I would like something to check my consec on, but uh, we actually should be okay. I'm pretty sure, because I had this happen one other time on a different mission animal that I messed up way back in the day, and I didn't realize diamonds were a thing, so I didn't record it. Uh, these actually despawn when you go far away from them because it's a mission animal, at least I think. Uh, I had it happen once before, so I'm going to cross my fingers here that consec is okay. Uh, and I'm actually going to show you a little trick as well for getting a nice picture of your animals. So basically you don't want the examine track up. You want to make sure it says confirm trophy. And then if you look up in the sky, Ooh, that actually goes away. You managed to bring it down. I'll let Fiona know. I bet she wishes she could bring you on full time for the varmint control. You've certainly delivered like the best of them. So now that he is done talking, you can see I've got a nice blue background uh, to get a good picture of the coyote here, which was in fact a diamond, a 959 as well. Now, as I said, it's not going to count towards my stats, uh, but a nice double lung shot with that 243. I'm just going to get a few screenshots of this, and I think that is going to just about do it for this video. But guys, please let me know if you enjoy these missions, and I must say when they end uh, with something like that, uh, it does definitely help. But I do want to go into my stats just to be sure, because I've never actually taken a diamond... Uh, mission animal, I've only been told, uh, but if I go into this, yeah, my diamond count is still at 20, so that doesn't actually count towards it. I had to check that just to be sure, uh, but yeah, please let me know if you enjoy these mission videos. I definitely enjoy making them, uh, and I would love to just pretty much get through all the missions on all the maps at some point. That was definitely a lot of fun, so that is going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for sticking around to the end. It is very much appreciated, and I will see you next time.